friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 7th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, earth update, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun. 304 angstroms. We do have an M-class solar flare to talk about, as well a couple C-class solar flares. Solar X-ray flux has jumped over the past few days. Having a look here at incoming, the last 48 hours, this is where you're going to see some large plasma filaments. On the left-hand side as well, a huge plasma ejection coming from the cresting disk of our sun right there. Very large one. Having a look at 48 hours outgoing. A couple sizable sunspots there. Turning away. They grew over the past 24 hours. Plasma filaments stretching across the northern hemisphere. And here's a closer look at that large plasma filament ejection from the southwest region of our sun. Large plasma filament there couple plasma tornadoes just before that and then this huge ejection right there m-class solar flare from that region amazing stuff having a look here at multi-spectrum showing the last 48 hours of events we do have a couple building solar flares now southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere compared to last update few plasma tornadoes spinning around the northern hemisphere looking at 171 angstroms just another cool way to see our sun in all of its mighty all these images brought to you by solar dynamics observatory mixed here with daily events worldwide stay aware prepared solar x-ray flux remains right now in a heightened C range after shooting off an M-class solar flare and as well a few strong elongated C-class solar flares. Proton flux remains low. Geomagnetic activity heightened up to KP3, but it was up to KP4. And this is why looking at a highest frequency affected, this is the DRAP showing cosmic energies penetrating our atmosphere. X-ray flux heightened throughout the day with that elongated C-class flare. Showing here the aurora forecast for the next 24 hours around the world. Northern Hemisphere, mostly. Very strong over Greenland. Looking at Lasco 2. Showing all of the Earth's, or sorry, our star's energies taking off from our sun. Plasma filaments, coronal mass ejections. And in the most recent view, solar flares. We've had quite an interesting 48 hours of events across the world. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody. And I want to thank all of you for tuning in to Daily Events Worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared with daily researches about space weather, earthquakes, and world weather. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral. This is from yesterday, quickly. Small CME taking off outgoing position. And then here we have another one coming. Looks to be by about the 13th of February, but we do have some activity coming in for the 10th and to the 11th. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 8. Quick look at the telemetry here. Or so, yeah, it is a power of 8, amplitude of 5, quality of 11. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting at about 230 across the world according to USGS. And we still have that disastrous situation in Turkey developing here. Still 5.3 just recently in Agaksin, Turkey. Many aftershocks throughout the region. Just look at here. This is how it all played out. Started out with that big 7.6. We've seen 98 earthquakes across the region. 
So it started out with a 7.8 Central Turkey. And then followed by a 6.7. And then it jumped northward and then started spreading quickly east and west after a 7.5. So Turkey-Syria border seeing devastation through 10 provinces, a 1,200-kilometer stretch of earthquakes and destruction. Nearly 7,000 people have lost their lives in this highly tectonic plate zone. Somalia plate and the Arabian plate. I've never seen anything like it. So again, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected and to all of the possible survivors and to everyone digging out of this destruction in Turkey. Having a look at the heli plots, this is all very low frequency seismographs around the world this day. We were blacked out. Literally, aftershocks rang around the world after this 7.8 earthquake. Every seismograph going off. Look at that over Turkey. This earthquake lasted for two minutes. Two minutes of violent shaking. I can't imagine living in such an area and dealing with such a disastrous event. Look at this. Norway, Chile, Zambia, Russia, Chile, Western Australia, Kazakhstan. Our world was a shaking from this large 7.8 earthquake. And it was warned, as I said in the most recent video, we were under an earthquake watch. Carrying on here with the last 24 hours of earthquakes, 4.9 there, Greece, 5.0 magnitude, northern mid-Atlantic ridge towards Rick Janes. Overlooking South America, 4.2 there, Calama, Chile, Pretty deep for the region. 4.6 here reported in Colombia. Quiet through the Caribbean plate. Wow. Central East Pacific rise reporting a 5.0. Across the North American plate, it's been pretty quiet. No major earthquakes or swarms to talk about. Alaska, largest through the region, was a 4.3. Atka, Alaska at a 10 kilometer depth. 5.3 here, Severokurilsk, Russia, 22 kilometer depth, as well as 4.6 in Laptev Sea, 4.6 magnitude. I haven't seen an earthquake there yet. 5.5 there, Krakatoa, Indonesia, seeing minor activity today as well, pretty deep one, 4.1 earthquake, 397 kilometer depth, Las Palos. And then Marianas Trench and into Micronesia, 5.2, 5.4, 4.7 Guam, 5.0 Guam. And then our deepest earthquake today was a 4.8 at a 614 kilometer depth though. So very deep earthquake, expecting a larger shallower earthquake to follow in the next 24 hours. So please heads up, stay aware, prepare to just be ready for anything because our earth is going through a lot of changes right now. Having a look here at the last seven days, almost a hundred earthquakes through Turkey, and they're still trying to dig through the rubble for survivors. Many deep earthquakes through the Banda Sea, Indonesia, and into Tonga region. A lot of elevated rings across our planet right now, getting deep tectonic movement. So it does not surprise me that we had the 7.8 what surprised me was the region and what followed. Now I wanted to show you here at windy.com showing the sulfur emissions as we had a huge eruption on Kamchatka, most likely looks like Kluchevskoy 
and also Ebico. Some pretty large eruptions there. So huge SO2 masses sweeping across the Pacific and over into Alaska and the Yukon right now. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Africa, and Australia. Pretty large eruption, Vanuatu, and as well, uh, Solomon Islands region. And we have 46 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet right now. So it's not surprising. Look at all that SO2. Now let's get to the world weather forecast here. Going to give you a grand look here, overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Pretty large low pressure systems heading into the BC coastline. That'll be arriving Wednesday to Thursday. Watch for snowfall through higher elevations, but it's going to be a warm Pacific push. As well, a pretty strong snowstorm heading towards Kamchatka. Closer look here, overlooking North America. The next few days, some extreme weather brewing up through the Gulf states. Wednesday into Thursday. Alberta Clipper tucking up in behind that. But it's going to be a warm week. Eastern Canada ahead of us. Colder temperatures will be sweeping down in the long range for Western Canada and the U.S. But still, this big Gulf push right now. High pressure blowing all that warm Gulf air up. Overlooking Europe and Russia. Got a long line of moisture coming off the Atlantic right now. Going, moving into parts of Finland and Sweden. Low pressure center diminishing over northern Africa in the Mediterranean. And then a big snowstorm developing there for western Russia. Overlooking Australia and New Zealand. Pretty big cyclone action here developing. Just going to be racing along the coastline of Australia and then bearing down for New Zealand. Looks like landfall Sunday into Monday. Possible Category 2 cyclone when, it makes, cyclone when it makes landfall. And then overlooking the South Indian Ocean, we do have a couple cyclones here developing in the long-range forecast. But it does not look like they'll be affecting land just yet. Long range forecast shows them heading towards Reunion Island and Mauritius. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smack that like button. A lot of information shared here with daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared. So thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.